It's easy to feel skeptical about immersive audio. I mean, surround sound, even for film, never really caught on for most consumers because very few people wanted to buy and configure an expensive speaker system. But the technology I'll demonstrate in this video may lead to you, me, and everyone else listening to almost everything in an immersive format in just a few years, even if we don't have an expensive speaker system. In the very first recordings, depth was the only immersive variable that could be achieved. When a performer stood closer to the recording device, they sounded closer when someone listened to that recording later on. This effect can be somewhat simulated by adjusting the level of each sound source in a mix. Make the lead vocal louder than the background vocals, and the background vocals will appear to be further away. This makes sense because sound gets quieter the further it travels from a sound source. Using this principle adds some depth to a mix, but modern technology takes this to a new level. More on that in a moment. When we moved from monophonic sound systems with only one speaker to stereophonic systems with a left speaker and a right speaker, music and film became a lot more immersive. As the addition of another speaker opened up the doors to width and stereo image. When you send the same signal to two speakers in a stereo configuration, you'll hear a phantom image of the sound that seems to come from between the speakers. By adjusting the relative balance between left and right, you can pan that sound side to side. The next logical step was to start adding more speakers. So engineers experimented with quadraphonic audio and 5.1 surround, where speakers are placed around the listener at ear level. However, Phantom imaging only really works from side to side because our ears are on the sides of our head. That means you can't create a phantom image between the front right and the rear right speaker. If you want to hear a sound from the side, you'll need a side speaker. And if you want to hear a sound from above, you need a height speaker. Hence, we started to see formats like 7.1.4 or higher with speakers to the sides, above, and sometimes below the listener. But compared to mono, the primary problem with all of these formats, including stereo, is that they require not only more speakers, but more setup. When you put a mono speaker in front of a listener and point it at them, the setup is pretty simple and repeatable, even for a casual listener. Replace that single mono speaker with a simple stereo or LCR soundbar, and the setup process is still not too demanding. But when you start adding in other speakers, things become more complicated. For one, the fidelity and immersiveness of a speaker system are heavily dependent on the position and configuration of the speakers. If you want to feel surrounded by your surround sound system, the speakers not only need to surround you, but they should also adhere to placement standards. Otherwise, a sound that's intended to be behind the listener could sound like it's just coming from the end table right next to them because that's where the speaker is. True immersiveness depends heavily on the setup when using physical speakers. This is why it's such a big deal that we can now put on a pair of headphones and hear things from all around us. Obviously, the immersiveness of the experience will vary between a cheap pair of earbuds, an entry-level pair of studio headphones, and a pair of professional headphones like the HD 490 Pros. The timbre, distortion, and immersiveness will be significantly improved when using higher quality headphones. But every one of these options provides a way to experience immersive audio, and that's the important part. It's a huge shift in the cost of entry to experience immersive audio. To me, this suggests the world will be more likely to adopt immersive audio this time around because many people already have headphones. Mixing engineers and audio enthusiasts will still build amazing immersive speaker setups, but some version of that immersive experience will be available to anyone in headphones.